Hola, Year 7. Your Do Know activity is on the board. You need to copy and complete this paragraph in Spanish using the words below in the green box. If you get stuck, you can use your knowledge organiser in your book to look up the words. And if you finish that early, there is an extension task and you need to translate your paragraph back into English. So you have five to ten minutes to complete this activity in silence. Pause the video now whilst you complete the activity. Okay, we are going to go through the answers now. So you can check your own answers and we should have Hola, me llamo Fernando y vivo en Barcelona en España. Hello, I am called Ferdinand and I live in Barcelona in Spain. Tengo diez años. Soy muy tranquilo y listo. I am ten years old and I am very quiet and clever. Mi pasión es el fútbol y mi héroe es Lionel Messi. Pienso que es muy creativo. My passion is football and my hero is Lionel Messi. I think he is very creative. Okay, so all of the words on there um, should look quite familiar to you because those um, are all the bits of information that you've been learning about over the last few weeks in Spanish. So today, um, our key question is, ¿Tienes mascotas? Do you have pets? And our learning objective is to be able to say what pets I have and what colour they are. Okay, so to ask somebody if they have pets, we say, ¿Tienes mascotas? Everybody repeat after me. ¿Tienes mascotas? And to answer, we say, sí, tengo. Yes, I have. Everybody repeat after me. Sí, tengo. Okay, and we've got some pets on the board, so we're going to learn how to say them in Spanish. Everybody repeat the words after me in your best Spanish accent. Un gato. Un perro. Un conejo. Un ratón. Okay, let's practice them again. Everybody repeat after me. Un gato. Un perro. Un conejo. Un ratón. Un pez. Remember, Zs are pronounced like a TH sound. So think back to your phonics from the first week. Un pez. Z is sounding like a TH. Una cobaya. Una serpiente. Una tortuga. Okay, let's practice the bottom line again one more time. Repeat after me. Un pez. Una cobaya. Una serpiente. Una tortuga. Okay, you will notice that some of the pets start with blue and some of them are in red. So, all the words that start with un and are in blue are masculine words. 
and all of the words that start with una in red are feminine words. Usually, if a word ends in an O, it's going to be a masculine word. And if a word ends in an A, it will be a feminine word. Okay, so um, your task now is in your book, you need to draw each of the animals in pencil and write the Spanish words next to them in pen. So you need to pause the video now for 10 minutes while you draw your animals and write the words in Spanish. Okay, we're going to practice saying our animals one more time. I'm going to say one of the words on the screen and you need to turn to your partner and race them to say it five times as fast as you can in your best Spanish accent. Are we ready? Un ratón. Next one. Un gato. Next one. Una tortuga. Next one. Un perro. Next one. Un pez. Next one, un conejo. Okay, we are now going to watch um, two videos, two songs that you can join in with that will help you with remembering the words for the different pets. So here is the first one. Um, first time, just listen to it without joining in, and the second time, you can have a go at joining in. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Si sí, tengo un pájaro. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Si sí, tengo un perro. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un gato. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo una serpiente. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo una tortuga. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un ratón. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un conejo. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un pez. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo una rana. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? No, no tengo mascotas. Okay, this time you can have a go at joining in with the song. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un pájaro. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un perro. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un gato. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo una serpiente. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo una tortuga. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un ratón. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un conejo. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un pez. Tienes mascotas? Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo una rana. 
¿Tienes mascotas? ¿Tienes mascotas? No, no tengo mascotas. Okay, and we have another song. Um, you can just um, listen and watch this one. ¿Tienes una mascota? Sí, tengo un perro. Tengo una mascota. Él es un perro. Y él hace guau, 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 guau. Tengo un gato. Tengo una mascota. Ella es un gato. Y ella hace miau, 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 miau. Tengo un ratón. Tengo una mascota. Él es un ratón. Y él hace squeak, 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 squeak. Wow, wow. Meow, meow. Squeak, squeak. Tengo un pájaro. Tengo una mascota. Él es un pájaro. Y él hace pío, pío, pío. Pío, 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 pío. Tengo un pez. Tengo una mascota. Ella es un pez. Y ella hace club, 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 club. Tengo un león. ¿Un león? Tengo una mascota. Él es un león. Y él hace grr, grr, grr. Okay, right, we are going to <clears throat> practice our pets with our partners and we're going to play the 50% game. So, in the back of your book, you need to write one sentence using the board. So, you're going to write tengo, I have, then choose one of the animals on the left hand side, then you're going to write e and and then choose one of the animals from the right hand side. So um, you can write one sentence down. So for example, you could write tengo un gato y dos tortugas. Or you could write tengo dos gatos y un ratón. So we are writing one sentence using one option from the left and one option from the right. Now, when you've written your sentence down, your partner is going to try and guess what your sentence is. So they will say a sentence off the board. If they don't guess your left side or your right side correctly, you're going to say 0%. Cero por ciento. Everybody try this. Cero por ciento. If they get half of your sentence right, so they might get the left or the right side right, you're going to say 50%. Cincuenta por ciento. Everybody try this. Cincuenta por ciento. And if they get both parts of your sentence right, you're going to say 100%. Cien por ciento. Everybody try that. Cien por ciento. If they get 0% to start with, they have to guess again. So your partner keeps guessing until they get to 100%. Okay? And then once your partner has guessed yours, you're going to try and guess your partner's. So pause the video now for five minutes while you play the 50% game with your partner.
Okay, so we're going to use our sentences from the 50% game to write some sentences in our books. So on the board, in the blue box, you've got seven sentences that you need to write in your book in Spanish. The words that you need are up here at the top. So for, let's do the first one together. I have one cat and one fish. So we would write down tengo un gato y un pez. Okay, so have a go at the other sentences in your book, writing them in Spanish. Make sure you check your spelling. And for number six and seven, it says, I don't have. So if tengo is I have, I don't have is just no tengo. So you just put an, a no in front of the word. And an extension. If you're finding that easy, for each sentence, you could also add an opinion by writing pienso que es plus an adjective. So pienso que es means I think it is. You can use your knowledge organizer to find some adjectives to describe the animals. Pause the video now for five minutes while you write your sentences. Okay, so I'm going to go through the answers. Um, so number one, I have one cat and one fish. Tengo un gato y un pez. Number two, I have two cats and two turtles. Tengo dos gatos y dos tortugas. I have one rabbit and one mouse. Tengo un conejo y un ratón. Number four, I have two guinea pigs and one snake. Tengo dos cobayas y una serpiente. Number five, I have two dogs and one and two snakes. Tengo Tengo dos perros y dos serpientes. Number six, I don't have a cat. No tengo un gato. Number seven, I don't have a guinea pig. No tengo una cobaya. Okay, we are going to move on to our colours so that we can describe the colours of the animals. So, um, repeat the words after me. Rojo. Naranja. Amarillo. Verde. Azul. Rosa, morado, marrón, negro, blanco, gris. Okay, we're going to practice them one more time before we put them in our books. So everybody repeat after me. Rojo. Naranja, amarillo, verde, azul, rosa, morado, marrón, negro, blanco, gris. Okay, so in your book, 
um, you are either going to draw stars or you could just draw a box and colour them in and then write the Spanish words next to the colours. Um, so you can draw any shape you want, star or a box or a love heart or a circle, colour each one in the different colours and write the Spanish words next to them. So pause the video now for 10 minutes whilst you draw your colours out and write the words next to them. Okay, you're going to practice your numbers and your colours with this worksheet. Um, it's a colour by numbers worksheet, so you have to check the numbers on the pets and colour them in the right colours according to the key at the bottom. So you can pause the video now for 10 minutes whilst you work through your colour by numbers worksheet. Okay, so all colours are adjectives. So an adjective is a describing word. In Spanish, what is super important is that we put the adjective after the thing that it's describing. So in English, we would say, I have a black dog. But in Spanish, you would say, I have a dog black, which sounds strange to us, but that's just, that's just the way that Spanish is. So we put our describing words after the thing that it is describing. So here's some examples. Tengo un gato blanco. I have a white cat. Tengo un perro marrón. I have a brown dog. Adjectives have masculine and feminine forms and they must match the gender of the noun. So there are two genders. So some words are masculine, like un gato, because it begins with un, so we know it's masculine. But some words are feminine. For example, the word for guinea pig, which is una cobaya. We know that's a feminine word because it begins with una. So your adjective also has to change. So, um, we would say, tengo un gato blanco. So, we have un, so we know it's masculine. Gato ends in an O, so we know that's masculine. And blanco ends in an O because it matches the gender of the rest of the sentence. So, masculine, masculine, masculine. So, all three bits match each other. However, if we use a feminine word, such as una cobaya, we've got to change the word for blanco to blanca so that it matches the rest of the sentence. So, una cobaya blanca. So, all three bits match each other. We have feminine, feminine, feminine. Okay, pause the video now whilst you write this explanation in your book, in pen, in your neatest writing. If you've got highlighters, you can highlight the important bits. So you need to write down all four bullet points into your book. Pause the video now for five minutes whilst you write that down. Okay, now you've written that down, have a go at these activities in the orange box. So copy and complete these sentences, adding the adjective, the colour, after each one. So I've given you the starting point, uh, point of all the sentences and all you have to do is add an O or an A to the end of each colour. So remember, if the word is masculine and it begins with un, then your adjective is going to end in an O and anything that begins with an una, feminine, your adjective will end in an A. Extension task, translate your sentences back into English. Pause the video for five minutes whilst you complete this exercise.
Okay, we're going to move on to a listening exercise. So in the back of your book, you need to draw this table, one to five, in one color, column, animal, and in the other co column, color. So pause the video for two minutes whilst you draw the table in the back of your book. Okay, so you're gonna to listen to some people describing their pets. They are gonna be asked two key questions. Tienes mascotas? Do you have pets? And como es? What's it like? They're going to say what pet they have and what colour it is. Okay. And you need to fill in your table in English with the information. So for each person, you're going to write down what animal they have and what colour it is in English. For question three and four, you've got a number two in brackets. That's because their pets have two colours. So try and get both colours written down. You will hear each one twice. So don't worry if you miss it the first time. Página 16. Ejercicio 3. Escucha. Copia y completa la tabla. 1. ¿Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un ratón. ¿Cómo es? Es gris. ¿Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un ratón. ¿Cómo es? Es gris. Página 16. Ejercicio 3. ¿Mascotas? Sí, tengo un ratón. ¿Cómo es? Es gris. ¿Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un ratón. This is still number one. ¿Cómo es? Es gris. Dos. Number two. ¿Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un conejo. ¿Cómo es? Es marrón. ¿Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un conejo. ¿Cómo es? Es marrón. Tres. ¿Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un gato. ¿Cómo es? Es blanco y negro. ¿Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo un gato. ¿Cómo es? Es blanco y negro. 4. ¿Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo una serpiente. ¿Cómo es? Es roja y amarilla. ¿Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo una serpiente. ¿Cómo es? Es roja y amarilla. 5. ¿Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo tres peces. ¿Cómo son? Son azules. ¿Tienes mascotas? Sí, tengo tres peces. ¿Cómo son? Son azules. Okay, um, here are your answers. So swap books with your partner and check your partner's answers. Página 16. Ejercicio 3. So we have a mouse grey, brown rabbit, black and white cat, red and yellow snake and three blue fish 
So um, we need to give our partner a mark out of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Can we give our partner a mark out of 12? For the ones where there's two colours, they are worth one mark each. So give your partner a mark out of 12. Okay, we have a sentence builder here that's going to help us to describe pets in more detail. So go back to the key question. Do you have pets? Everybody try the question. Tienes mascotas? So in our sentence builder, we have our verb. Everybody repeat the words after me. Tengo? No tengo. Tienes? Mi hermano? Tiene. That means my brother has and mi hermana tiene. My sister has. Then we have our animals in the next column. We have our colours in the next column. We have our word for and, e. And then we are also going to add the sizes of these pets. So everybody um, repeat the words after me. Enorme, grande, mediano, pequeño. And they mean enormous, big, medium sized and small. Then we have the words for which is called. So we're also going to add the names to these pets. Everybody repeat this after me. Que se llama? Que se llama? And then we have the names in the last column. So um, in your book, you need to write these five sentences using the sentence builder on the screen in Spanish. So all the words you need are already here on the screen in the sentence builder. You just need to pick the right bit from each column. Now, be careful with your colors. Remember, if you describe a masculine pet, so a pet that begins with the word un, like un gato, then your adjective, your colour, will end in an O. Same with the sizes here, the ones that have got an O and a slash A. And if you are describing a feminine pet, one that begins with una, then you need to add an A to your colour or an A to these two sizes here. So pause the video now whilst you write these five sentences in your book in Spanish. Okay, that is the end of this video lesson. If there is any time left over, um, you, will be, you will have worksheets or textbook work to do to help you practice your pets and colours. Adios!